The fearsome sight of a Nile crocodile, the largest species of crocodilian in Africa. While tourists cruise the Nile hoping to see the imposing reptiles from the safety of a boat, along the shores of Lake Victoria, the ferocious predators pose a deadly threat to people living in the area. Dwindling fish stocks and shrinking crocodile habitats have led to a worrisome rise in attacks in recent times. In Namayingo village, crocodiles have reportedly killed seven people over the last three years. Asha Musa lost her seven-year-old granddaughter just a few months ago. I received a phone call and I was told that people were frightened back home. A crocodile had grabbed my granddaughter and disappeared with her. Villagers tried to save her that Monday, but it was too late. Many victims are children who go down to the lake to play or fetch water. Fishermen are also a target. Peter Ogwang is a crocodile expert with the Uganda Wildlife Authority. He and his team have come in response to reports of a sighting. They ask the villagers for further details before setting off to search for the animal. When we receive information, we quickly rush to the scene to confirm, we do assessment and we do the capture of the crocodile. Locals lead the team to the areas favored by the large reptiles. They lay a trap made from a piece of meat attached to wire. On that floater, we tie bait so that when the crocodile comes, it uh, grabs the bait and then the wire will tie either the lower jaw or the upper jaw. When it tries to struggle, the wire tightens. But in this instance, the crocodile squad needs to adjust the trap. The predator smells a rat and escapes. Because of too many cases, we cannot spend much time. So we may reach when it has already eaten something. So the two, three days we are supposed to spend in that area will not be successful. We may fail to capture because the crocodile is not active, actively hunting. In one village, the crocodile hunters have more luck. Fishermen have captured a crocodile themselves. Ogwang's team is here to take it away safely. Safe not just for the people, but the crocodile too. After a seven-hour drive, the team arrive at the crocodile farm on the outskirts of Kampala and the animal is released. The facility was set up by the Uganda Wildlife Authority in partnership with a private investor. This one has reportedly killed seven people. The predator permanently lives in captivity now since it's judged too dangerous for the wild. Visitors pay to see the creatures, which helps finance the farm that ensures aggressive crocodiles are safe haven. Some of their offspring will be returned to nature, but the program was set up for several reasons. We want to breed them. We want them to lay eggs. And then we later incubate the eggs. And then we feed the young ones, which will grow for tourism purpose, for education purpose, and for research. The Uganda Wildlife Authority puts the country's crocodile population at about 1,200. Crocodile expert Peter Ogwang has captured and relocated over 120 of the wild creatures so far. Most of them are now living freely in national parks in Uganda.